Welcome to the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity Grantee Training. In this presentation, we will be discussing grant agreements. We will begin with an overview of a grant agreement and its contents. We will outline important things to consider when reviewing a grant agreement. Finally, we will conclude with some tips and how to find additional resources. A grant agreement is a contractual agreement between a grantor or funding entity and grantee or the recipient of grant funding. This agreement outlines in detail the parameters, requirements, and expectations of both the grantee and the grantor. This document contains everything you need to know about your grant. The grant agreement is built upon the intent of the grant program and is informed by factors that emerge within the grant application review process, evaluation of risk assessments, organizational structure, and track record help build the foundation of the grant agreement, having identified and mitigated any potential weaknesses. It is imperative that grantees thoroughly review the grant agreement and use it as a reference when implementing a grant program. The grant agreement consists of three main parts. Part one is uniform and unchanging throughout all agencies. You'll find the language from this section appears in all grant agreements, both state and federal pass through grants coming from the state. The content in this section cannot be altered. Within part one are 22 articles that contain key information regarding the grant process, compliance, award disbursement, and definitions to key terms. These articles articulate topics such as suspension and termination of your grant, conflicts of interest, audit requirements, and much more. The section's contents are broad and apply to all grants across all of Illinois. Also found within part one are exhibits. Exhibits outline specific hallmarks and expectations for the implementation of your grant program. Exhibit A covers project description. Here, you will find a comprehensive description of the core functions, activities, tasks, or products associated with the grant agreement. The language within this section will be clear and specific. Exhibit B covers deliverables and milestones. Deliverables include services, goods, products, and other items to be created, developed, or performed by the grantee. Deliverables are specific and targeted results expected from the activities outlined in Exhibit A, serving as a checklist of what is to be accomplished throughout the term of the agreement and measurable to determine if the grantee has satisfied all obligations. Milestones are important events that must occur at specific points throughout the term to effectively achieve goals. Within this section, you may see timelines, dates, or other measurements where appropriate. During your grant, you will be required to meet deliverables and milestones. Exhibit C captures contact information. This section will identify and list the contact information for official grant notifications, grantee payment address, and grant administrative information. These official notification contacts are the individuals authorized to commit the resources of the organization and take authoritative action when issues of grant compliance occur. Grant administration contacts are the individuals responsible for day-to-day -day work on the grant. Exhibit D outlines performance measures and standards. Performance standards include performance-related reporting requirements. Performance standards help manage the grantee's delivery of programs or services under the terms of the grant. Performance standards may be set for performance measures to establish minimum thresholds for acceptable performance. Performance measures outline performance-related reporting requirements and describes the performance measures that are to be evaluated throughout the grant term. This section identifies data points that the grantee must provide and includes method and time frame for submitting periodic performance reports. Exhibit E, Specific Conditions, lists specific conditions imposed based on the risk assessment and merit review of the application. If applicable, also includes methods to remove the specific conditions. This section may not be applicable to all grant agreements. Part 2 outlines agency-specific requirements. These are explicit requirements outlined by the funding entity or grantor. Requirements can vary from agency to agency, so understanding this section of the grant agreement can better acquaint you with the standards of the funding entity. Part 3 covers grant or program-specific requirements. This is where you will find details that relate directly to your grant program. In addition to requirements outlined in Parts 1 and 2, this is where your grantor will outline additional requirements specific and unique to the grant. This section should identify all state and federal rules or regulations applicable to the grant or program. Finally, supplementary attachments may accompany your grant agreement, if applicable. Receiving a grant agreement is exciting in that it signals the kickstart to your grant program. Before jumping in and getting started, be sure to review the document thoroughly 
and break it down with your team to ensure understanding throughout your organization. Take an objective approach to your review and exercise your best judgment to determine if you will be able to meet all of the requirements needed to receive grant funds. If questions come up, always refer to your grant agreement and notice of funding opportunity or NOFO. Within these two documents, you'll find everything you need to know about your program. Using these two items as guides and references, you will be successful in the execution of your program. You can familiarize yourself with the grant agreement template by scanning this QR code or enter the bit.ly address below into your web browser. For additional resources, please visit DCEO's grantee resource page by scanning the QR code with your mobile device or visit dceo.illinois.gov slash dceo-grants. Thank you for watching this presentation on grant agreements. If you have any questions, please reach out to ceo.granthelp at illinois.gov.